Hey guys, all right, so in this tutorial, we're gonna talk about making selections with people, namely the hair. And so this is my ugly mug. All right, so some of the things I want you guys, you should look right away to try to see like where you think the problem childs are gonna be here. And I can see right here, this part of my hair here, you can see how you can see the back wall of my kitchen in here. So that's gonna be the trick, okay? Now, when you're doing people and you're doing hair, there's a couple things that we can do, but basically guys, removing the background is very limited. It's very awesome to have, but you kind of need some skills to do that. So people that probably will use that, are gonna have a little bit more understanding and a foundation in Photoshop than what you will have, okay? So your best bet when doing this is going to be the subject select okay so i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to start select a mask go ahead and get that started again you guys the transparency piece here i'll go ahead and turn that down so you guys can see what's going on here it is and notice it still allows me to do the select subject, right? So let's go ahead and do that. And Adobe Sensei is doing its magic. Going, going, going. taking a while holy moly okay I'm going to pause this guys until this is done okay guys we're back here so now you can see that the selection has been made and then I turn my transparency all the way back up all right so that way I can see what's been cut out uh, you know to each his own, some people like to do it, you know, things a little bit differently. That's kind of up to you. Uh, you know, you might decide to do overlay. Um, you know, some people like to see it on a black background um, so they can see it a little bit better. That's kind of, you know, your preference. Um, but there are some things that, you know, make it look a little bit better. Now, you can see here on my hair that you can see the green outline here you can see it kind of coming up into here and here and there okay so before we do anything too crazy let's use this option right this new option that they have refine hair again guys so many new tools that i did not have and we're going to watch what this does and there you have it so you guys can see it took quite a bit out cleaned it up pretty decent okay but we still have a few problem areas that we need to fix okay so with the selection or i'm sorry the refine edge selection brush here we're going to use that go ahead and crank that up and you can kind of see that i have a little bit right here that might need to be looked at here so let's go ahead and zoom in Okay, let's grab that brush again. Okay, right here. And we are on the plus here, and we're just gonna kinda come through here and try to refine that edge right there. Right, allow it to do its work. And I think that that's a little bit better, right? Okay, slide over here. Looks like we have an edge here that could use a touch up here so we'll just kind of come right here refine this edge just a little bit all right something like that and now I don't know if you guys can see this, but you can see like right here where my eye or where my ear has been taken out. So you guys can switch. We can switch over to this brush. 
we can do a plus symbol here and then we're just going to basically kind of come through here and take out this where we think the ear is right there i can see that that's starting to get into the background of there i like to take off a little bit extra so i can kind of see what all i need to do what happened what went wrong right and so i can see right here now i can see the edge of my ear a little bit better so now i'm going to go minus and now i'm going to just try to easy into this here i'm kind of re select my ear like so whoops so you guys can see this is kind of get tedious right all right not easy to do i could easily make my brush smaller and get in there right but i'm crazy zoomed in right all right, so something like that. I could do a better job and clean that up, but for the video purposes, guys, I'm just going to go ahead and leave that. Brought my ear back. Now, what I wanted to show you guys here is I've done all this piece. I, I've got this done. Uh, now I'm ready to make this layer mask, okay? But before I do that, oops, I should have had. Uh, guys, I should have done this before I even started my bad. So go back after you guys watch this. Make sure that your smart radius is, un is checked. Uh, that was goofy. I should have done that. Silly, silly. Um, and now we're going to decontaminate colors and what this does guys is it try to improve your edge a little bit um, it, it tries to take out the colors I don't know if you guys saw the process there you can see that it basically what it did was it decontaminated the green uh, from my hair okay and kind of took that out and improved that edge now the only spots that I still have are right here okay and right there um, so I like that. I'm going to go ahead and save that and click OK. All right. And it's going to put that in a new layer. So I'm going to check out my layer. My background layer is not selected. OK. And I can see this right here. So now I'm on this picture. So now what I'm about to show you guys is another tool. We'll talk a little bit more in depth about it. I just want to introduce it. And that is the clone stamp tool. This thing is pretty sweet. I kind of geeked out over this tool when I started to learn, okay? It's very tricky. It does take some time to get used to. Okay, oh, I can see right here, guys, I got some places that I would need to clean up. I don't know if you guys can see that right here. Uh, that's not good, all right? Easy cleanup right here. I got a little few problems there that would need to be cleaned up uh, as well, okay? Whoa, whoops, don't do that, okay? But anyways, I want to show you what this looks like, okay? So... Your clone stamp, basically what you're doing is you're taking a sample from an area and you're going to clone it over uh, the other areas, okay? So for example, what I'm going to do is I'm going to shrink this down just a little bit. By holding down the Alt key, you see how I get this bullseye? Well, that's what I'm about to sample, okay? I'm going to click on that. And now if you see here, I come out here so you can see, you can see what I've sampled, okay? So I can come here and basically what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of paint that in. You can see that that green went away, so I sampled from there. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to come right here and take that out. And now you can see that that green is gone. You can't see it anymore. So I sampled that color and put that in. All right, it's a very tricky tool. I didn't change anything up here. All right, I'm still using a soft brush. Anytime you use the clone stamp, it's really important that you make sure that you're using like a soft brush. Okay, so... Uh, something like this like a soft rounded brush you can change that down you know the hardness because if you use something like this you're going to create hard lines and when you do a like a color stamp uh, and then stamp it in another place you can create some pretty hard lines okay and make it really vivid okay so let's go ahead i'm going to click on my mask to make sure that that's what i'm working on okay and i'm going to go click on my brush now and get off of my clans my clone stamp tool Okay, and then I'm just going to kind of bring, oh, whoops, oh, I'm on lightened, uh -huh, I was wondering what the heck, okay, I'll talk to you guys a little bit more in depth about all of those things, and so there we go. I want to be on this picture. It's driving me crazy there. Ah, gosh darn it. Give me that. Mm -hmm. 
I'm not on there. Oops. And then I can move my bobblehead. All right. So, anyways, guys, when you're doing people, it's really tricky. Now, I didn't go through everything else, right? I need to check my edges here to see. Okay. But, anyways, something like that. Okay. All right. Good luck with that, guys.